Now, Democrats in the General Assembly also pushing ahead with one of their most controversial gun control measures. That's the ban on assault weapons. Today, a state House committee advanced that bill. 13 News Now anchor David Allen joins us from the newsroom with details. David. All right, Philip, we're talking about House Bill 961. It's a call for a ban on assault weapons and certain magazines and guns. Now, here's the controversy. It also calls for an expansion of the definition of an assault weapon. More kinds of semi-automatic guns would be classified as assault weapons. Certain shotguns would also fall into the category. AR-15 style rifles would be banned, and you wouldn't be allowed to have gun magazines that hold more than 10 rounds of ammo. If the bill becomes law, having any of those types of guns or magazines would become a felony. Today, the House Committee on Public Safety heard arguments from people on both sides of the issue before passing the bill. Alone in industrialized countries and allowing weapons of war on our streets. These weapons were never intended for a civilian market, and every single one of you know that. This bill does not make anybody safer. This bill will not make Virginians safer. What this bill does is make Virginians, law-abiding Virginians, felons overnight. All right, General Assembly Republicans are slamming the bill. House Republican Leader Todd Gilbert put out a statement saying Governor Northam and House Democrats are still going after law-abiding citizens with these policies. And Virginians who merely own the most common types of firearms and accessories would be made to be felons and subject to prison. Now, the bill sponsor says that the bill does allow people who have lawfully uh, gotten these weapons to keep them. They just cannot transfer them and they can't sell them. For sure, we'll be following this every step of the way. But for now, live in the newsroom, David Allen, 13 News Now.